Well, these are very nice. GCAD plus symbol by Aaron Stately. And he, he's posed a question. I've got a black background for the moment. And maybe you notice that the petals here don't stand out quite as crisply as, as we want. And Aaron has sent a message saying that he's been filling polylines as needed probably because it's white on a white background I, I want to make it stand out and the polyline fill didn't have a by layers outline in black I'd like to show you how you might overcome that quite simply so if we change the view to white now and zoom in here you may be able to see I've changed one of the petals in here so let's grab that block and we'll edit it and zoom in again and we'll edit that so we're editing that block that's within a block and what I've done here if we look over in the properties box we're saying yes the polyline is filled it has a particular nice pale mauve color but we're saying yes it has a border if we go across to one of these others and here no it doesn't have a border so it's let's select all of these and we'll say they're all filled with the right color but we'll say yes it does have a border but we want it outlined in a darker color I find that just picking one of these not the jet black but that sort of grey colour and I'll unselect all see how they now stand out quite nicely you could take a shortcut here and just grab all of these and they're all poly lines and you can say has a border we could make them all have a border and we could change it to whatever we want but let's move them all to that point and then we'll close the block editor now the question does that flower now pop as Aaron suggests let's go back to his note what he wants I was trying to make it do that and to make the flower just pop on the white paper background not a huge deal as he says but I hope that we've now been able to make it pop just a little more we'll just make sure it's a good idea just to make sure it works well on both, both types of background so there's an, a new symbol um, and it's what I'll now do is move it to its own separate file because there are a, a couple of others in here and Aaron's willing to give this collection of symbols uh, away and we'll try and just check them all there's a very nice magnolia there so stay tuned for some of that information to appear this little glitch here is a glitch in the text where it's picked up the quote a single line quote what that says is the standard text is having some difficulty with a single quote I wonder how it copes with a, a double quote I think we've had some sort of discussion before about that yeah it actually copes with the double line quote but doesn't put it as a as a back so that's a slight tweak that we need to make at some stage to the font that is used for the standard font so I hope that's helped answer Aaron's question and made that symbol just look and pop just a little I did notice in here a small problem I've brought in to illustrate it I've brought in one of the GK plus symbols see how I can rotate things around very nicely especially when you're putting a lot of symbols in giving some variation to rotation is very handy if I copy it one advantage is I can rotate this one and without changing step rotate that one I can 
scale and click in the middle there, scale both of them at the same time, rotate them back. So that little blue handle is terribly useful in your drafting work. But if I pick one of the flowers, which is a block inside a block, notice the handle is way down here. And what that tells me is that the base point of the symbol here is not set correctly. What I've done is copied the symbol for Aaron and I'll go back here to another version of it and I've just redefined the block, that flower block, so now I can rotate things around very, very nicely. And uh, by, by rotating them and scaling the flowers up, I think it looks just a little more natural. And that's in the base point of any block. I don't think this one's a block. No, that's just a polyline. So whenever you make a block, try and make the base point of the block symbol in the centre of the symbol as I've done here.